Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're driving through downtown Kingston. We are on Duke Street, heading towards National Hero Circle. Now Duke Street is a more, it's part of the bis business district downtown. You have a lot of office buildings, a lot of offices, lawyer offices, banks, insurance companies, finance companies. You don't find a lot of wholesale stores or supermarkets or shopping stores on this side. When you go over to like King Street, Princess Street, Orange Street, you find a lot of places that sell stuff. So this is the more business, the business side. This is a, one of those old time churches. It's a united church, but you can tell from the brick design it was built a long time ago. Okay, on the left coming up now. Where is it? Well, Garden, we're coming up on Garden House soon. It's a little further up. And Garden House is where the Parliament of Jamaica meets. Now, plan oh, are on the way to build a new Parliament building further up by National Hero Circle. I'm not sure what is going on. How far those plans have reached. Okay, from your city's barricade out, then you know Parliament is going to meet today. Today is Tuesday, yes. So Parliament is going to meet and you see all the Prados and the big SUVs. So some parliamentarians are there already. But they'll block off the road, use those barricades and put it right across the road. When I guess they're ready to start. Okay, straight ahead on the left, that was a telephone the first telecom company in Jamaica, Telephone, I think it was something like TOJ, I know it was TOJ. That was their head office, and that's where they had all their equipment and everything. But that building is now abandoned. I think the UDC operates it or owns it. And um, well, basically it's abandoned, nothing going on over there. TOJ was sold to Cable and Wireless, and their head office was on Halfway Tree Road and then Cable and Wireless was sold to Flow or changed names but it's now Flow and um, Flow operates so uh, they still operate the landlines but if you want to apply for a telephone landline now you're not going to get the physical landline like what TOJ used to install or Cable and Wireless you're going to get an IP line that works through the internet but the original TOJ lines the cable and wireless lines they still work and of course you know most persons don't use landlines as they're called anymore everybody uses cell phone now but a few landlines still in operation Okay, we're now coming to the end of Duke Street and straight ahead is National Heroes Park. And that is where all the National Heroes of Jamaica are buried, along with the Prime Ministers. Okay, we're turning right. So we're now going to turn right onto North Street and head back down into the downtown area. Now, when you think of North Street, the most popular place that pops into your mind is the Gleaner Company. It has been on North Street for decades, maybe even over a hundred years. And with Boys Champs just finishing, there are two very prominent schools on North Street, St. George's College and Casey, Kingston College. And Ki Kingston College just won Boys Champs a few days ago. Okay, on the left, that tall building is a tax administration building for, I guess that's where the tax people are. Now coming up on the left is the Gleaner Company, that blue building. And that's where they print the Gleaner, which is the most popular newspaper in Jamaica. And I can't imagine back in the day how many newspapers they used to print. 
but nowadays you have the internet you have online newspapers most persons get their news online but the most popular newspaper the most popular day for printing newspapers is Sunday that's the most circulated newspaper on that day the Sunday Gleaner and all the printing everything is done over there at that office okay so we now went on to East Street if we had turned left by the Gleaner company we would have stayed on to North Street but we are now on East Street heading back down to Ocean Boulevard Okay, straight ahead on the right. I want to get a little closer. But some of the tallest buildings in Jamaica are located down here in New King in downtown Kingston. And they're all located on the ocean front. Straight ahead, you can see the Bank of Jamaica building. That's the building, the tallest building. Well, not the tallest, but straight ahead that building at the back that's the bank of jamaica building and beside it the tall black building that's the scotia center now the scotia center is the tallest building in downtown kingston and i think it's the second largest the second tallest building in jamaica Clearly from this angle you can see it's the tallest one down here. And as I said, they're all located on the Kingston waterfront. Not the located on the overlooking the Kingston Harbour. Now you see all these cars parked here they're literally parked in the road i have no idea what's going on i don't know if these are legal parking spots i can't imagine how because the two lanes of traffic have to merge into one to pass the cars look at how far out in the road these cars are i have no idea what's going on here Okay, this building straight in front of us now, believe it or not, that's the Air Jamaica building. You guys remember Air Jamaica? Best airline to ever fly. This is the building and I'm going to turn this so you can actually see the Air Jamaica logo. I'm assuming that that building is operated by the UDC because Air Jamaica doesn't exist anymore or by the Jamaican government. That was the head office for Air Jamaica at one time. Okay, straight ahead now, that's the Bank of Jamaica building. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Remember to like, share and subscribe. Have a good day.